Now we're going to have a look at breaking up this line or any line into a set amount of parts. To start off and decide on how many parts you have to break it up into, for this line we're just going to use seven parts as an illustration. And to start your construction off, you're going to draw a line out at any angle to the line that you are going to be d dividing up. And I would always suggest that you go and draw that line out, doesn't matter from which side of the line, but that you draw it out at a decent angle. About 60 degrees normally works quite well. So we're going to draw out a line in construction connected to the one end of the line that we have to break up. And then we're going to divide that line up into seven parts. And the best way to do that, to make sure that it's decently accurate, is to go and take your compass, set it on an easy size to work on. So I'm going to use 15 millimeters, set my compass on 15 millimeters, and then I'm going to place my compass on the end point of the line that I've drawn. And I'm going to make an arc for my first part. And then I'm going to simply move my compass along from part to part and make arcs 15 millimeters apart along my line until I have my line broken up into seven parts. You can put your compass on any length for this construction. It doesn't matter what length it's on as long as every part that you set out is the same size. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six parts, so I need one more part. And there's my last one. Okay, so I've used my compass to break up this construction line now into seven parts, and each of them are 15 millimeters in size. Now I'm going to take the last part on the end over here, and I'm going to join that last part to the other end of the line that I'm wanting to break up. So I'm going to take that last part there and I'm going to join it up with the straight line, still in construction. Okay. Now, to be able to break up this line into an equal amount of parts, I need to take every single one of these points and draw a line from each point parallel to this line here that I've now drawn. Okay. It's got to be parallel to that line. And to be able to do that, I'm going to take my set squares I'm going to place one set square on that line and I'm going to take my other set square and I'm going to place it against the flat edge of that first set square and make sure it fits the full length of the line. Okay, now I'm going to make sure that I hold on tight to the top set square, okay, which is this set square over here. I'm going to hold on tight there and so that I can slide this set square up and down the edge of the other one. Okay, see how that slides along nicely, and if you slide it back, so if I've been holding nice and tight, you'll see that that goes straight back onto that line that I've drawn. So now holding tight onto that set square, I'm going to slide this one up and along. Okay, I've let go, so I've got to reposition. I'm going to slide this set square along until it hits my first part on that line. And I'm going to draw a construction line so that it intersects with the line that I'm wanting to break up. And I'm going to do that now with every single one of those points, making sure that the line that I'm projecting is always parallel to that very first line that I drew. And again, you've got to hold tight to the one set square and then slide the other one along. Slowly making sure that you get each of those points nice and accurate. Okay, and if you've made sure that each of these lines is perfectly parallel, now you have a line here which is perfectly broken up into several, seven equal parts.